Hello everyone, my name is DJ Devin3 and today I'll be showing you how to use a re-recordable sound module from Invite by Voice, which can be found on Amazon, to spruce up a little box. And it just plays a little MP3 behind here. Uh, this phone came with the box, and as you can see here's the switch. And it just plays that. That way it's like a little angel opening when you open the box of your nice router bits. Uh, and this is going to be a present for my sister. So behind the curtain, that's all it is. Now this is what it looks like when you get it in the mail. Uh, it's got this plastic backing and what you're supposed to do is take this part and it comes off and you're supposed to put it in a greeting card. Uh, it has a adhesive backing for this whole thing. Put it in the card and then use this little slide notch here to be the crease of the card so the card would sit like so, right? And then when you open the card, you basically will pull this lever and play. So that's just a little stopper that comes with it. Uh, obviously you're supposed to take that out. So the way that you get your audio on there is they provide this little 3.5 millimeter male to male adapter. Whatever audio source in that you want, you can do it from a computer if you have a long 3.5 millimeter jack or you can just stick this right into the back of the computer or on the front if you have front audio ports or you can use a little mp3 player and this has a 3.5 millimeter jack on it so I can stick there, that on there and it will record whatever plays on here under there. Now while it is recording you cannot hear it. It is silent. So you would press this little red button to record. It beeps once, records, and you basically just have to look at your LCD screen, know the time that you want to stop it, and then you hit the record button again. It will beep twice to stop, and then you take out this and it will play your music. So that's how that works, and this was fairly cheap. Uh, I want to say it was seven or eight dollars kind of thing, uh, because normally people would use these for uh, birthday cards. They want the, the electronics to be real cheap. However, if you're going to make it a permanent fixture, um, that's actually a really neat, cheap way to get a permanent uh, fixture. And you can always replace the uh, coin cell batteries. You're not like hard wiring it with 120 volt AC or a DC power or whatever. You know, it's just coin cells. So you can replace those basically just the same as you replace your watch battery. Uh, so I bought a couple of them just because I really like the concept. And uh, the company shipped them out fast. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, you can also buy them directly for their, from their website. Uh, I thought that was really cool. Uh, and yes, you can go audio out from your iPhone or Android phone or whatever. Uh, it will accept it as long as there's a 3.5 millimeter jack, which the new iPhones apparently don't have. So yeah, you're screwed there. You would have to get a converter from whatever proprietary jack to a 3.5 millimeter. Good luck with that. Uh, so this box came with foam. So I'll show you my handiwork here. So that's my soldering job. I just bent the, the prong back and I did that just as a temporary measure just in case something didn't work out and I needed the prong back uh, but now I could go in and cut that off if I really wanted to uh, but it's not in the way so whatever I'm just gonna leave it I hot glued the crap out of everything to keep that in place and as you can see these micro switches they overhang just a little bit which is great because when it closes it's going to close flush right on that corner if this switch was flush with this black switch housing then this would not work this only works because this overhangs just a little bit farther than the than the switch housing so we're down here you can see and i need that in order to contact here so that works out pretty well and of course I just hot glued the speaker into place and I liked this little uh, white surround that comes with it as a, uh, a vibration dampener basically I didn't want it to vibrate this it's uh, it's just a vibration dampener and the hot glue works for that pretty well too so we'll just uh, put the foam back in there 
fairly clean install. Now, if I really wanted to make this look a little bit better, I could, uh, you know, cut a, another sheet of balsa wood or something out and frame it that way if I really wanted to. But just as a cheap, quick DIY birthday present idea, uh, I thought that was pretty neat. So I hope you like the, uh, the little mod I have here. And I hope that you can use your imagination to come up with some neat little ideas to take this kind of cheap and expensive electronics and make a project for yourself. Uh, I just hacked that up in like, you know, five minutes. Actually, I had to go to Radio Shack in order to get the switch because uh, I didn't have any. But um, yeah, in all, 10 minutes worth of work. Boom. Done. And she has forever a box that has angels singing when she opens up her router box. Devin, I just got home a little while ago. Did not even notice this freaking box sitting over here. Dude, you are off the chain. Please tell me that you opened up this stalwart box because that is fucking hilarious, dude. It's like, oh. Anyway, call me back when you have a chance. All right, bye. And by the way, it does not drain the battery when it's close. It only operates and uses battery while it is playing. Cool device, cool project. Hope you enjoy it. Cool.